Another impressive Manchester United performance as Eric Ten Hag's reign takes shape during preseason. And to talk to me about it, I have got Adam from the United stand here. Hello. Before we get into the positives of the game, Harry Maguire's every touch being booed was quite weird. What did you make of it? I mean, the players have got a lot of making up to do with the fans. They're not going to be forgiven for a good pre-season, so they're going to have to expect still a bit of backlash. They've got a lot of work to do before the fans are convinced. Pre-season is pre-season, it's not Premier League. We've seen United teams have passed, go through all the pre-season unbeaten, playing well, and then as soon as it really gets serious, then the players start failing again. And last season was our worst season in Premier League history. So these players have still got a lot of making up to do with the fans and they've got to expect a little bit yet. They're not forgiven totally by most of the fan base. So I do believe that that is still going to be there and they're going to have to show a little bit more. A bit odd though that he's come all the way to the other end of the world to be booed and the fact that they were then cheering him afterwards. Yeah, I mean, it's like pantomime villain right now, coming here abroad, but this fan base is massive, it's worldwide. These fans over here in Australia and Thailand, they suffer as much as the fans back in Manchester do. That's what this club is. That's why we've seen the turnouts we've got today. They get up at 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, whatever time it is, just to watch this team. And they see what we see. It's the same images and it's the same players that are failing. So if they feel like they see a player as actually took on the advice of Ten Hag or has put that extra bit in, has realised the mistakes he's made, then I think the players can turn the crowd around. I think that's what's going to happen. They've got, like I said, a lot of work to do yet. It's, it's, it's not even started. The season's not even got going. But I think you're going to see a little bit of that. You're going to see support for the players and you're going to see some that are just not, some fans that have not forgiven the players yet. You can see the understanding. You can see, the, you can see exactly what Ten Hag has done. Really, because I'm watching Marcus Rashford run more than I've ever seen him run. Not just Rashford, Martial, Sancho working as a pack, backed up by Bruno and then Fred just behind them. You can see what Ten Hag has done. We were at the open training session. You can see elements of it, even though that wasn't everything that was being done and everything that's going on behind closed doors. You could see what he's been doing and the players look like they're listening. The players look like they are actually taking on board what he's saying. And for me, I think that's the biggest plus of the tour, like you said. The fact that they're all scoring, they're all creating, and they're all making the right decisions. Because last season, biggest criticism of the forward line was not making the right decision, thinking for the self. Right now, they look as a free. And I've always said all along, the best form we've ever seen out of Marcus Rashford and Anthony Martial has been when they've played together. It looks like the Marcus Rashford and Martial of old. But I'll go back to what I said. It's pre-season. Will they be able to do that with away fans breathing down their neck when it comes to Premier League? Uh, that's the biggest test for them. But like you said, for a pre-season tour, it's definitely, it's definitely looking good for us right now.